An emotional gathering tonight to remember Jim Matthews, who was killed during an attack on his family in his own home. That attack, you might recall, injured Matthews' girlfriend and their two children. We are learning much more tonight about their recoveries. Our Jacqueline Francis is live in Chesterfield Township tonight, where a vigil in his honor just ended a little while ago. Jacqueline? A week has passed and there's still really no wrapping your head around this tragedy. Tonight's vigil paid tribute to the late Jim Matthews, who was stabbed to death inside his home. It was also a time to pray for his longtime girlfriend and their two young kids who were victims in the brutal attack. Amazing grace. As the sun set, family and close friends paid tribute to the late Jim Matthews. He loved life. Uh, he was very meek. He was very mild-mannered. Um, he was very professional his job. He loved his kids. Uh, the local news radio anchor was killed in his Chesterfield Township home last week. His beloved children, ages 5 and 10, were also injured in the attack, along with his longtime girlfriend, Nicole Geerton, who remains in the hospital in stable condition. My cousin, I love her. Hope for the best what's yet to come. As for the children, the five-year-old girl is home with family. Playful five-year-old as she is, like nothing's ever happened. She's doing wonderful. While Matthew's 10-year-old son is in the hospital, recovering from an eight-hour surgery. His eyes move when they ask him to look both ways. They ask him to lift his left and right side, and he's doing it. Um, every little step has been an, an amazing improvement. The family believes the boy was tied up and beaten after trying to protect his father. He's a brave little boy and um, just, uh, you know, God bless him and, and keep those prayers coming. The focus now on healing. His family's life has forever been altered by this tragedy and, and I would like to just surround them in prayer. A GoFundMe has been created to help support Jim Matthews' children. You can find a link to that on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Reporting live in Chesterfield Township, I'm Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. And Jacqueline, what is the latest on the suspect in this case? Earlier this week, 55-year-old Arthur Williamson was charged in the stabbing death of Jim Matthews. He was also charged with injuring those family members. Prosecutors haven't said much on the nature of their relationship, but they did say that Williamson was a guest inside their home. All right, Jacqueline, we appreciate it. Thank you very much.